Hi everyone, HFX here. The title of today's video is Baby Steps, because when it comes to prepping, you really have to ease into it and take baby steps. Uh, I'll go over two things in this video today really quickly. The first thing is going to be that you have to know what you're preparing for, and the second thing is you have to know what you need in order to ride out that emergency for any given length of time. So the first thing you need to do is, uh, based on where you live, you need to determine what scenarios you and your family are most likely to be faced with. Uh, for example, I live in Eastern Canada, so things like uh, tornadoes and earthquakes are not really a consideration because they really don't happen here. Um, things that I prepare for are hurricanes, uh, winter storms that can knock power out for a few days, um, and, and that's basically it. So, not to say I don't prepare for any other situation, but being prepared for uh, riding out a hurricane or the aftermath of a hurricane and a snowstorm basically gets me prepared for other scenarios as well. Um, you'll also hear people that prepare for things like a zombie apocalypse, and that's really just a metaphor to say that if you're ready to ride out a zombie apocalypse for three months in your home, you're ready to ride out just about any natural disaster or emergency situation you could ever be faced with. Um, so with that, the second thing you have to do is set yourself a goal. So typically governments will ask you to be self-sufficient or self-reliant for three days or 72 hours in your home um, until they can start to get help out to you. If this is a localized uh, emergency uh, lasting more than, you know, the three days. So really it's going to take... Uh, several level or the different level of governments um, you know up to three days to mobilize help and get it out to you so three days or 72 hours should really be your starting point of what you should be uh, prepping for um, and what you have to ask yourself is what does uh, what does my family and I need for uh, surviving in our home for three days or 72 hours and chances are you probably already have everything it's just a matter of making a checklist um, assembling it and then taking things into consideration like if you have young children you have to think about do they need formula uh, diapers um, do we have any uh, needs as far as medication do we have any enough uh, medication to write out for those three days because chances are if everything is shut down you're not gonna have access to pharmacies or grocery stores or anything um, so that's that should be your first goal is three days once you've hit that three days which is probably not all that difficult then you could extend it out to a week and then two weeks and three weeks and that's when it becomes a lot more difficult because um, of all the considerations you have to take into account like um, storing water for seven days uh, for example for water you need a gallon per person per day so there's uh, if you're a four 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 person household you're looking at four gallons per day times seven or times 14 depending on the number of days you want to be prepared for uh, and that starts to get a little bit complicated so when I say baby steps, I really mean take it one step at a time. Um, identify what you're preparing for and then start off with three days. Once you've hit that three days, congratulations, you're better, you're, you're better off than most people around you. After the three days, aim for seven days and then 14 and so on. Anyways, just a quick intro to prepping. Um, again, it's just a matter of, uh, I mean, if you're watching this this video, chances are you've you've decided to take the first steps into being prepared to ride out emergency, which is great. Uh, and again, the second step is to identify what you're preparing for. And the third step is identifying what you need to ride out that emergency for at least three days. And then you can work your way from there. Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, if you liked the video, please like it. Uh, consider subscribing as well. I put out videos at least uh, four or five times a week. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks a lot.